An aircraft carrier is typically the heart of any modern naval fleet. Though the world is most familiar with American-style supercarriers, there are in fact a variety of aircraft carriers with varying missions in service around the world. Today we'll look at the tiniest, in this episode of the Infographic Show, the world's smallest aircraft carrier, the Shakri Naruwebek. Before we get to the rest of our video, a brief word about World of Warships, the sponsor of today's video. World of Warships is free to play and is often called the thinking man's action game. It has that perfect balance of action and strategy that makes a well-made game so incredibly fun. One of our favorite things in the game is that it includes some of the most iconic warships in naval history. As you play, you can unlock new ships and dominate the oceans with 7 million players worldwide. You can choose between over 200 ships across 8 different nations. Click the link in the description to play World of Warships and collect a special bonus starter pack. New users can register with the code PLAYWARSHIPS2018 to receive 250 doubloons, 1 million credits, an HMS Campbelltown premium ship, 1 port slot, and 3 days premium time. Now, let's get back to the main part of our video. In service with the Thai Navy, the Shakri Naruwebet was laid down on July 12, 1994 and launched a year and a half later in 1996. Built by the Spanish firm Bazan, the ship used a similar design to Spain's Príncipe de Asturias light helicopter carrier. The Shakri Naruwebet measures 600 feet with a beam of 72 feet and a full load displacement of 11,485 tons. By comparison, an American Nimitz-class carrier, easily the most recognized carriers in the world, measure 1,092 feet with a beam of 253 feet and a full load displacement of 104,600 tons. The Shakri Narawebet has a complement of 455 crew with an additional 146 air crew, while a Nimitz carries a crew of 3,300 with an air crew of 3,000. While a Nimitz carrier is nuclear powered with an output of 260,000 horsepower, the Shakri Naruweba is, as most other light aircraft carriers, equipped with twin gas turbine and diesel engines for a total output of 50,687 horsepower. The Shakri Naruwebet's gas turbine and diesel engines give it an estimated range of 10,000 nautical miles at 12 knots, with a maximum speed of 26 knots and a cruise speed of 16 knots. A US Nimitz, by comparison, has a cruising speed of 30 knots with a classified top speed and a range that is technically unlimited as it requires refueling only once every 20 to 25 years. The Shakri Naruwebet is considered a light aircraft or helicopter carrier capable of carrying a maximum of six Harrier jump jets and six support helicopters. Its flight deck includes a 12 degree ski jump designed to help get its Harriers into the air. Ski jumps are a notable design feature in several other aircraft carriers, including full-size ones such as the Chinese Type 001, though in those cases, the ski jumps are a necessary feature due to a lack of powerful takeoff assist catapult system or weak jet engine designs. Ski jumps may help get aircraft into the air with shorter runways, but they severely limit an aircraft's range and offensive capabilities by limiting the amount of fuel and extra weapons that can be equipped as weight becomes a serious consideration. A steam or electromagnetic catapult system, such as that in use by American carriers, overcomes these limitations by accelerating an aircraft to great speed and assisting it in achieving lift. The Shakri Naruwebet offensive and defensive armament is limited to three six-cell Mistral launchers. The Mistral is a short-range anti-aircraft missile that can also be used to intercept incoming sea-skimming missiles. Equipped with a 6.6-pound warhead loaded with tungsten balls, the Mistral is designed to detonate just ahead or behind its target and shred it with a shotgun blast-like barrage of shrapnel. Unfortunately, due to its range of 2.6 miles, the Mistral offers little to no protection against modern airborne threats or supersonic and hypersonic anti-ship missiles. While a Mistral missile can be linked to remote infrared guidance, it lacks the ability to be guided to its target by more powerful ship-borne radar systems and has only an infrared seeker with which to track its target, which could make it potentially spoofable by enemy countermeasures such as flares. By comparison, the American rolling airframe missile has terminal guidance capabilities allowing it to link up to radar from friendly ships or aircraft, as well as both thermal and radiation seekers, letting the missile hone in on the heat signature and active radar of an enemy target. While the maximum range of the ram is classified, it is known to be at least 5.6 miles or twice the range of a Mistral missile. The Shakri Naruwebet does have provisions to install a single 8-cell launcher for the evolved Sea Sparrow missile, though no plans currently to actually do so. 
Sea Sparrows are featured prominently on American carriers, with each typically carrying three to four launchers. With a range of 31 miles and a classified speed known to be over Mach 4, Evolved Sea Sparrows are a formidable mid-range air and missile defense weapon. They use both infrared and radiation seekers, much like the rolling airframe missile, and can sink with a launching ship's target illumination radars to be guided to a target. As long as the Thai Navy delays installing its single cell of Sea Sparrows, the Shakri Nairuebet cannot hope to enter into combat against any modern foe and survive. As the flagship of the Thai Navy, the Shakri Nairuebet's main role is to conduct surveillance and enforcement of Thailand's exclusive economic zone, aid in search and rescue operations, and provide command and control and air support. Yet with such limited armaments, the Shakri Nairuebet could hope to add little to a firefight versus a more capable foe. Its aging complement of Harrier jets and lack of support electronic warfare assets would make its aircraft easy pickings for modern anti-air defenses on other ships or adversary aircraft. Unable to keep enemy aircraft or ships at bay with its Harriers alone, and lacking a meaningful anti-air, anti-missile defense system, the Shakri Nairuebet itself would be a sitting duck for hostile forces. As such, the Shakri Nairuebet rarely takes to sea, and when it does, it is usually to carry members of the Thai royal family, earning it the designation from defense analysts around the world as the most expensive royal yacht ever built. So. Does the Thai Navy really need an aircraft carrier, or is the Shakri Nairuebet merely a prestige ship meant to be a showpiece for the Thai royal family? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video called Japan's Yamato vs USS Iowa Battleship Comparison. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time!